What's up YouTube Nation, Hobbs here, coming to you with a breakdown of the upcoming Early Access World War II first person shooter, Days of War, uh, by Driven Arts. Now this game, it currently has a Kickstarter campaign going, we'll talk about that later, but don't let that fool you. It appears to be about 75% complete and is scheduled to go into alpha testing in April. It has recently been greenlit by Steam. It's described by Driven Arts as an online multiplayer shooter that aims to revive the style of classic World War II shooters from the 2000 to 2010 era using Real Engine 4. In Days of War, bullets are what matter, not kill streaks, not wall jumps, and certainly not drone strikes ordered from iPads. Thank goodness. Instantly, I'm interested because I come from the Call of Duty 2. Uh, Call of Duty 1, United Offensive, Medal of Honor uh, days. Back in 2005, 2006, I played Call of Duty 2 competitively through Tournament Warfare League and Cyber Athletic League uh, with a clan called the Soldiers of Chaos. And uh, that was a very trying but an incredibly fun uh, year and a half of my life. So instantly, I'm interested uh, when they're talking about going back to the good old days. And then the, the idea that they're going to do it in... Uh, Unreal Engine 4, which takes us to new heights when it comes to uh, graphic fidelity as well as physics-based rendering and, and all that stuff, really immersive gameplay. Right off the bat, that got my attention, so I started investigating more and I liked what I found. So what's the gameplay going to be like? Well, we they've put out a couple gameplay videos. Right off the bat, there were some people who uh, wanted to compare it to previous games in the light of it was copying or it was, uh, you know, trying to pull too much for those, especially Day of Defeat. And the first thing I say is, well, what do you, it's this, it's in the same vein and in the same genre, what do you expect them to do? Put in clowns and techno music? I mean, it's going to kind of look like those things. It's what is important is what they're doing beyond that, what they're doing differently. And the first thing we see, obviously, is the Unreal Engine 4. The graphics, the fidelity, like we discussed, uh, are going to be amazing. Now, from their Kickstarter page, we see competition above all else. They're really going to focus this towards competitive gameplay, be it professionally, esport-wise, or just clan-based. You and your friends competing against others, just like we used to see back in TWL and Cal, where it was weekend warriors who worked really hard to compete uh, against other clans and stuff and move up the, the ladder. Uh, immersive gameplay environments, Unreal 4 will allow for amazing graphics like we talked about. Uh, this is gonna be completely different from anything we've seen in this genre. It's gonna move beyond anything we've seen in this genre. Gameplay variety, they're already talking about game mode variations, including domination, capture the flag, search and destroy, and deathmatch. But on top of that, they are very big into the modding community. And they absolutely are thinking of ways where community modders and community members can come up with whole new gameplay options, which I'm super psyched about. I mean, we may see gameplay modes that we've never seen before. Uh, Lord knows what's going to come out of that. Uh, Class-based com uh, combat is something they're definitely focusing on. A well-balanced team of people working together is going to, to far outweigh a team of just people all picking the sniper class or all picking close quarters combat, you're going to need to have the different aspects of your team be well balanced so that you can compete. There is, like I said, deep support for the modding and player content. Uh, they're going to have a map editor, which I'm super excited about that we're going to discuss here in a minute. Uh, it's going to knock your socks off. But on top of that, lots of mods. Uh, they're going to support modding. They're going to support the community. It's really building this game around the community, which is spectacular. It's something that all games should look at doing, I really think. So let's take a look at the Kickstarter. Now, the first thing I want you to notice is right here. I've pledged $99 of my own hard-earned money. That's how much I believe that this game is going to be a big game. It's going to be a good game, and I want to see it made. So moving on down the Kickstarter page... We can see all the videos that they've posted. They have uh, the awards that you get for whatever your backing backing is, which uh, a lot of them are, are filling up quick. So you're gonna wanna gonna wanna back this thing as quick as possible. Here they have some character models that they've been doing. This is in the Unreal 4 engine, so graphics are a big deal and a big thing. And these just look cool. I love the details in these uniforms. Uh, they look amazing. 
Well, here's something that other early access games could definitely stand to do. Here's a timeline. They put everything out there, and it's something that they could be held accountable to, which is a good deal. We see right now we're in the Kickstarter phase of it. Alpha is coming right around the corner here in April. So what? Uh, at the time I'm recording this, like 20 days away, uh, the beta will be in June, and early access starting on Steam in August, and then a full release in December. And the way they're they're tracking with their development and everything, uh, it looks like they're going to make all of these goals. So that's an awesome, awesome thing. Now to help out with Kickstarter, Driven Arts released some gameplay footage from the very, very, very pre-alpha prototype uh, of the game. And the community, although they liked all the fidelity and everything, they did have some issues. For one, they thought that the movement speed was way too fast and the guns didn't have enough recoil. In fact, in the gameplay footage, you see that the character doesn't really look down the sights. There's no aim down the sights. He mostly just sprays and prays, and in doing that is able to, to win, defeat pretty much every person he comes across. So the community kind of had an issue with that. Now, in an excellent move, Driven Arts listened to what the community was saying and very quickly reacted. In their update on their Kickstarter, update number two, they said, right now we plan on reducing movement speed by 25 to 50% of our initial alpha tests. Recoil is a little more nuanced, but suffice to say, it will be a lot more kick than what you've currently seen. This is an amazing thing because they listen to the community, they listen to the constructive criticism, they listen to the concerns that the community had, and they reacted. And they didn't take forever to do it, they didn't put up a fight. They said, well, if these are the concerns that you have, the majority of the community has, then we'll fix it. They listened, they reacted, and they took action. That's an awesome thing. Now, as if all this wasn't enough to have me head over heels in love with this game and want to have its babies, they go and release footage of their map editor. And of course, this is not just your regular run-of-the-mill map editor, it's a multiplayer map editor. That means that you and your buddies can get on the same server and edit a map, putting in your own assets, working on different sides, coming up with new ideas. I, I'm trying to think of another FPS game that's done something like that, and off the top of my head, I can't. Uh, it, it's a great thing. I can't wait for me and Shake and Bake to be in a map coming up with, you know, building a town and thinking about different places, uh, you know, for sniping locations and such, MG locations. You know, I can be up in a up in a second floor of a house and he can be across the map and I can say, yeah, you know, this would be a great spot or maybe we need to put uh, some foliage here or maybe some kind of way to hide behind this or that. The fact that the developers are so involved in the community and listen, they've proven that they listen and will take action is enough in and of itself to back this game. And yet it has so many different things that go along with that, with the map editor, with the uh, Unreal 4 engine, uh, with the callback to when World War II shooters weren't just good, they were great. And we all love them. The competitive gameplay, everything about this is something that you should be excited for. I damn sure am excited for it. I cannot wait to get my hands on this game. I put my hard-earned money up, $99, so I could get into the alpha. Uh, I think you should too. And if you can't, hey, if you can't go for $99, at least throw a few dollars up. Come over to their forums, post what you think about, what you've seen, uh, any suggestions that you may have had. They've proven that they will listen. I'm Hobbs. That's what I think, and I hope to see you in this game very soon. Take care.